the source is based uh, on version uh, uh, 0.8 for Arduino Mega and is uh, found on uh, rckeys.co.uk. I just started the CNC machine so I was very happy to find a working version for 4-axis foam cutting. The latest version nevertheless is uh, 1.1 with a lot of uh, more functions um, but actually uh, at that time I didn't found uh, a version specially for foam cutting. Um, I uh, use the Arduino in combination with the RAM board including a graphic display with uh, 128 uh, to uh, 64 uh, pixels, a chalk and uh, uh, SD card reader. For standard drivers um, I added limit switches um, and use a power supply uh, to drive uh, the Arduino and the ramps and connect uh, input voltage directly over the PVM on the ramps to the hot wire. Um, I uh, used two LEDs and a lot of buttons, um, uh, but uh, I also need to do some modifications on the board. Um, uh, I cut off uh, the pin 10 from the Arduino on the ramp side just uh, by cutting off the, the pin header and connect Arduino pin 7 on the ramp side to the socket of pin 10. Uh, this was necessary uh, to drive the, uh, the PVM signal by an independent timer. Uh, in the end I had some EMC problems with the limit switches, so I connected uh, 100 nanofarad uh, 0805 uh, directly between the signal and the ground line. Best position would be on the bottom side of the ramps, uh, just so the, the capacitor directly on the, on the bottom side of the pin header. Um, also the stop button on uh, D63 is monitored by an IRQ, a similar process like the limit switches, so also there could be some EMC, um, so I would recommend to also use a, a 100 nanofarad capacitor there. To get the display working, I use the, the, the U8G2 library, uh, which can be downloaded uh, for Arduino directly from uh, GitHub. Uh, nevertheless, this library um, uh, has some conflicts with the GRBL code um, because uh, there are uh, resources uh, used uh, which uh, are blocking the movements uh, from the steppers. Um, this is especially one timer uh, in a delay function, so I need to do a little workaround um, uh, in the, inside the display library that uh, this uh, timer is not used anymore. Uh, therefore, first I use the uh, library with a software SPI and then I uh, um, modified uh, the header and the CPP file, which you can see here. Inside the header, header I defined uh, um, uh, GRBL support, and inside the u8x8lib.cpp. Uh, um, I integrated uh, the util uh, delay dot header and the fast IO dot header. Fast IO is part of the um, uh, GRBL code and uh, supports a delay um, which is not blocking the system. So here I define the delay. Um, uh, which um, waits multiple milliseconds until uh, the defined milliseconds of value is uh, reached. And uh, this is used inside uh, the software SPI here at that position instead of using the standard delay. On an additional position there was a, a microseconds delay. Um, I found out it is uh, not, uh, not needed. So I just uh, commented uh, this, uh, this line so there's no functionality inside um, and everything works fine. 
processing the display itself is uh, done by uh, by a struct uh, holding menu cursor IDs, um, the button stages and edges, uh, refresh indicator, and um, uh, yeah, float value for uh, for handing over the uh, the value between the menus. Um, I defined a menu structure. Um, you can go through that. Um, and base idea is uh, for for every sub menu, we have a, a processing uh, function um, showing uh, the display content, and then handling the buttons and uh, switching between uh, uh, the menus or executing um, the code uh, which is necessary. For example, here in that case, um, to um, it was idling the stepper, so somewhere here, yeah, here exactly, is the uh, stepper idle uh, function. So all the uh, display functions are then called in uh, one big uh, function here, the LCD process function. Um, first of all, all the buttons are red. Um, uh, the edge indication is done. Um, I have a, a global hot wire switch on and off functionality here, and then simply all the the processing uh, functions of the submenus are are listed here. Um, this function itself is called inside the main um, uh, CD. Here um, uh, on the lower end, um, after the proto uh, process uh, protocol process, I just simply call that in a loop. To get the SD card working, um, I included the SD SD FAT and uh, SD iOS iOS headers. Uh, from the the SD Fat um, Ada Fruit library, uh, I do not have to do any special modifications on the library, um, uh, but uh, I could only use uh, special parts of the library, um, uh, so the, the functionality is not full blown. Um, I reduced. Um, uh, the functions to to search only the root directory, um, which helps me to to handle all the complexity um, uh, and using only uh, root functions from the uh, from the library itself. So processing is uh, done in the ST protocol process uh, function, which handles um, uh, the reading of the library. Um, line by line, error handling uh, and sending over the lines uh, to the to the G code execution. Um, another part of the SD card is uh, passed of uh, the display functionality. We just open uh, the display uh, the the SD card, uh, list all the files and uh, select. Uh, File and this the index of the, the selected file is hand, hand over to the um, SD protocol process. Let's have a small look inside uh, this process execution. Um, uh, just a bit down. Yeah, here it is. Um, we have a, a SD protocol get line. Um, this is a, a read function. This is very, very similar to the um, uh, read function of the serial port. It's also read uh, character by character. This could be optimized, but uh, to keep it simple and uh, special, close to the functionality of the uh, of the the UART serial port, uh, I just simply copied it. Um, uh, there you can see that we also do some pre-processing, uh, skipping comments and so on, um, uh, bringing all up to uh, uh, uppercase 
uh, characters and then um, uh, uh, control state of the process execution. Process execution uh, for the SD card is done here, uh, which is started by initialize. Uh, we have some error handlings inside and also some, some displaying of, of errors. Uh, and and uh, progress of the uh, execution on the display yeah, and then we just uh, flip uh, through uh, the idle state um, uh, the reading um, and uh, displaying the progress and a very very interesting part is the execution of uh, the um, G code itself it's here and uh, the result of that function is used uh, to send a, a status uh, message so if you connect a, a USB cable you will see a lot of OKs coming up um, uh, showing that this line is successfully executed. So that's all for the display. Um, I added some some limit switches. Um, uh, please have a look on it. Uh, it's nothing special. It works uh, together with um, with IRQs. I also integrated a small software debounce, um, uh, but in the end it was not necessary. So I um, uh, do not use that function. I added some special functionality um, inside uh, the settings. So if you go to the settings.header, uh, um, you will find um, uh, additional parameters. Um, the hot wire uh, power, the fan power, which lets you control the PVM for fan and hot wire. Um, Cutting horizontal and cutting vertical defines uh, uh, end position um, uh, where you can do uh, linear cuts uh, directly without uh, any any code just on the on the display. And in addition, I uh, defined the homing uh, pull-offs uh, for each axis uh, in an independent way. Uh, which let you um, adjust adjust the machine uh, to a well predefined homing position or position after the homing process. Um, uh, this is, in my opinion, uh, necessary um, to to have a fixed position for the foam block, and uh, the the hot wire is always um, on the on the exact position. So uh, all the geometry of a wing cut is, is uh, accurate and uh, um, reproducible. I deleted spindle and coolant um, and added fan uh, control for, from the local display side and uh, hot wire control. Um, which is uh, very similar to a spindle or coolant. I use the uh, PBM outputs, um, straightforward programmed. Uh, special for the hot wire is that I integrated hot wire in the G code struct to hold the current uh, state and the current power. Um, and uh, if you search for hot wire in the gcodes.cpp, you will find um, uh, that I can switch on and off uh, with the gcode commands M3, 4, and 5. And the power is also controlled uh, somewhere. Uh, somewhere here um, uh, by uh, by handing over um, that power value to the hot wire functions. All other functions are mainly uh, driven by the lcd.cpp um, and uh, from here we execute uh, another G code or motion or stepper commands or uh, setting commands to store new values inside the, the EEPROM. Um, I wouldn't go much deeper into the source code. 
Um, uh, but I think it's uh, it's enough uh, to get a um, get, get a starting point uh, when you see the, the display and the functions there to find the related code uh, parts and modify it.